Hi guys, welcome back to Chizen. Today I'm going to do a faux lock mermaid locks video. I got inspired by Karen Prince. I'm going to leave her videos down below so that you can find her. Um, she got inspired by glow locks, so I'm, expi I'm inspired by Karen and she's inspired by glow locks. So I'm just gonna leave both of their um, YouTubes, Instagrams down in the description. Uh, but shout out to you, Karen Prince, because you came up with this method. I have never seen it before and I've been looking for something like it, honestly. But I always thought that my hair was way too long to do something like this. So I'm extremely excited to try it. So I will be using four bundles of hair all in different lengths. These are both supposed to be 22 inches, but I think one is 22, one is 20, one is 18, and one is 16. So I'm going to leave the link for these down below as well. Like, I'm gonna to try to do it as clear as she can, but honestly, you have to go check out her video as well, because she's the OG, she came up with this method. So all the credits go to her. I'm gonna be using these four bundles. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use all of them, but some of it, most of it. I think she used three bundles. And just to be safe, I got an extra one. I'm gonna be using pre-stretched uh, water wave hair in 22 inches as well. I have one pack. And I got some rest of free braiding hair as well, like Afro kinky braiding hair. And this is what I'm gonna be using for my actual block. I also have rubber bands. So I start out with my own hair in braids. I did this like two days ago. So this is how I'm starting out. At first I twisted my hair, but my twist became like really thick. So I just used my braiding gel. I'll show you, I really like this one. Braid Formula Super Hold Conditioning Gel. It has no scent. I really like this. Makes my hair very small and compact, which is what you want for this hairstyle. Yes, come Everyone, this is my boyfriend! <laughs> is that how you're gonna leave it? Huh? You're gonna leave it like that? Yeah. Alright, let's do it again. Okay, let's do it again. Ladies and gentlemen, him! <laughs> you see how close the mom looks? Look at it, look at all the greenery. No, in the camera, babe. <laughs> you see how cool it is? Look at this, horrible. It's pretty. Not at all. You look gorgeous. It's so pretty. So what I'm going to love about this hairstyle is that it's super boho, right babe? It's gonna be super boho. Super boho. Okay, so I'm actually starting out with my 18 inch track. I'm going to be cutting this one in little pieces. So what she does is she makes a little bantu, which is what I'm going to do right now. Let's see what I'm doing. So I'm just making this part shorter and twisting this here. I could already maybe use a hair tie. She doesn't, but I think that I might to keep that bantu knot in place so that this part is shorter i'm gonna do the rest with all of them right now just so i get that out of the way okay now that it's done to my first three braids this is what it should look like so i basically just made my own hair shorter i'm going to make these a little bit less short than the ones in the front the ones up front are going to be this short because i want the lock to be short and then the hair to be longer if that makes any sense so now i'm gonna take the marley hair and i'm going to be braiding this in so something that's very important that she said in her video is to make sure that you leave a significant significant amount of space between um, your real hair and then where you're going to add the extension I'm going to show you guys how. So what she does is she folds it double, lets it overlap like this, and then she folds it double again, like so. Then she places it on this part and she starts wrapping it. Around with the Marley hair. But she does as well. And 
then I'm taking my water wave braid hair and I'm just going to take it apart and I'm gonna start wrapping it from the base I think she said like five times and you want this to be pretty tight Guys, this is my first time doing this. I'm not doing it with a mirror. <laughs> okay guys, I got to the end. A lot of trial and error. First one, 59 more to go. I think I have 60 braids in. So I'm gonna do this whole bottom row and then get back to you guys, because this is taking forever. I have to practice, this is my first time. This is going to take me, I hope, just tonight. I really hope it's not gonna take me too long. So far, so good. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm doing. Hi guys, it's the second day. I went to bed yesterday, woke up, at like 6 37 came in here and started finishing i'm still not done i actually ran out of hair i made some adjustments and i wanted to share them with you because i think they're just better um i still have a few braids here that i need to cover with um the water wave hair and my boyfriend's getting it for me because like i said i ran out so i'm just going to show you guys what i'm doing different now so this part is done and i still have around six braids over here bless you sir i do the bantu knot like so one or two and then i make sure that i have this loop then i take some braiding hair but instead of the marley hair i just take pre-stretched braiding hair that's straight because i feel like this covers better and i feel like it doesn't give me the chunky effect so i just loop this through my natural hair and then i make a braid out of this hope you guys can see that so this is my natural hair and this is the fake hair looped i braid it until right there i definitely leave a big piece before i add the tracks then instead of folding the tracks i like to roll them because they're more compact like that so I roll them, I make them into a little roll. I place them on here and then I literally just twist them in. And I feel like this is more compact than using the Marley hair. I feel like it covers the tracks a little better as well. Just keep on twisting. To secure all that. One little piece of Marley, no, this is not my hair. One little piece of water wave hair. So I'm just cover this one so you guys can see. I take it out like that and then I just use it to twist I 
I'm not gonna lie, this hairstyle takes a while. I think I've been at it for like five hours now in total. Um, and I contemplated stopping and taking everything out about three times, including this morning. I woke up and I was like, like the hair is a bit itchy and I don't think I'm gonna have this in for too long. I do really, really love the look, but oh my gosh, I'm like all about comfort and this is not the most comfortable. Okay, so for the end, I just make a knot instead of using the glue because I don't like the glue. And then I just roll it and this is what it turns out to look like. I feel like it just covers the tracks better. It just looks like a real dreadlock and yeah, I just like it better. I definitely, definitely like it better to the side. But I have some more braids to finish, so I'll see you guys when I'm fully done. These are my finished results. I absolutely love the look, but I am way too sensitive to this hair. It was so itchy, so I took it out 10 minutes after. I did enjoy making this tutorial or tryout. I hope I helped someone out. This was a fun attempt and a good workout. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.